high in the cold, silent reaches beyond our solar system, something massive is on the move. Its name is 3i slash Atlas, a visitor from the unknown tracing a path through our celestial neighborhood that astonishes and perplexes astronomers across the world. For the third time in human memory, we are observing the passage of an object not born in our own solar system, but this time what we're seeing is utterly unlike anything that has come before. The story of 3i slash Atlas began, as so many cosmic tales do, with a fleeting point of light, first detected in July by our ever-watchful network of observatories. At first glance, it seemed to be another interstellar wanderer, a cousin, perhaps, to the enigmatic Oumuamua or the icy interloper Borisov. But quickly, data began to accumulate, feeding into the hands and minds of researchers who sensed something extraordinary. As optical measurements poured in from 227 observatories around a globe, over 4,000 distinct astrometric readings collected between May and September, an unmistakable trend emerged. This object was not just large for a comet, it was anomalously massive by any standard, an order of magnitude beyond its predecessors. Under the careful scrutiny of a team led by Richard Clote, Peter Vare, and Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb, the numbers told a tale both confounding and compelling. Here was an object that could be up to three miles long, and possibly even more. The team's investigation zeroed in on the non-gravitational forces that usually nudge and jostle a comet as it journeys closer to our sun. Forces produced by jets of vaporizing gas, erupting from the sun-warmed surface, and pushing the nucleus ever so slightly off course. In the case of previous interstellar objects, such as Oumuamua, these non-gravitational accelerations posed persistent puzzles, defying straightforward explanation. But 3i slash Atlas? Here, the deviation was almost non-existent, less than 15 meters per day squared. It was as if the forces meant to buffet it had found themselves pushing against a mountain, not a pebble. Calculations derived from these observations established a lower limit for the comet's nucleus, at least five kilometers, or a little more than three miles in solid diameter. This, in turn, suggested a minimum mass of 33 billion tons, an object several orders of magnitude mightier than any interstellar wanderer previously glimpsed within our cosmic doorstep. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's sharpest eye in the cosmos. In early August, Webb turned further revelations, recording a mass loss rate from 3i slash Atlas of roughly 150 kilograms every second hurled into space at 440 meters per second. When scientists plug these numbers into the complex equations that balance mass, momentum, and the inevitable outgassing of volatile ices, there was no escape. The mass of 3i slash Atlas had to be tremendous. The optical and infrared images gathered by the Hubble Space Telescope had already hinted at this scale, their bright, unyielding core revealing a nucleus unmatched in stability and brilliance compared to ordinary solar system comets. Not only was 3i PETLES huge, it was exceedingly resistant to external forces, undeterred by the continual outflow of gas that usually would alter a comet's course over time. In late August, new images from Gemini South added yet another layer of intrigue, displaying a traditional cometary tail that blossomed from the interstellar nucleus, confirming its massive nature and further perplexing the community who followed its progress. And for Avi Leb, a scientist well-versed in controversy and cosmic curiosity, the implications were immense. We should have detected an order of 100,000 Oumuamukas before discovering an object as big as 3IPETLAS, he explained, alluding to earlier models of interstellar debris, which predicted small rocky fragments in abundance, but few large bodies. The sheer size of 3IPETLAS and its remarkable rarity in our observations meted a profound statistical oddity. According to Leb, we should expect to find such an object less than once every 10,000 years. In other words, almost never. Yet this colossus was not only present, it also moved with a peculiar grace. Its trajectory, nearly aligned with the orbital plane of the planets, within just five degrees, seemed to defy the random, uncoordinated incursions one might expect from debris scattered by distant planetary systems. Why would the first truly massive object of its kind belong to this rare alignment? A tantalizing mystery, no doubt. When it came to composition, the clues were even more enigmatic. 
Webb and the SPHERIXIR -E Infrared Observatory returned results indicating a mix of carbon dioxide, 87%, carbon monoxide, 9%, and water, 4% by mass. But another spectrographic twist emerged. Trace amounts of cyanide, and curiously, nickel without iron, appeared at odds with what's typically found in natural solar system comets. According to Lebb, such a nickel-iron separation has, to our knowledge, been observed only in industrial alloys produced by artificial chemical processes. Each anomaly by itself could perhaps be written off. Together, they stack peculiarly, pressing against the boundaries of what we consider natural. Lebb has not shied from exploring unconventional possibilities. Could 3IPETLAS be more than a comet? Is it even possible, he hints, that what we are observing reflects not a random chunk of primordial ice and rock, but something altogether different, perhaps an artifact of technological origin? It is a highly controversial suggestion, and one not widely embraced among his contemporaries. NASA's Tom Statler, lead scientist for Solar System Small Bodies, voices a more conservative view. According to Statler, while 3IPETLAS is indeed an object of interest, exhibiting many remarkable properties, the evidence is overwhelmingly pointing to this object being a natural body. In his words, it's a comet. Amid such lively debate, the story of 3IPETLAS is far from finished. As it threads its spectacular journey through our solar system, drawing ever closer to Mars, where it will make its closest approach on October 3, its path is followed by the hungry gaze of scientists around the world, eager for every scrap of new data. The puzzle of its massive nucleus forces us to re-examine our assumptions about the population of interstellar objects. If diminutive visitors like Oumuamua are truly more common, and we should statistically have encountered many thousands before seeing a giant like 3IPETLAS, then perhaps our models of planetary system debris are, as Lebb suggests, far from complete. The search for clarity will continue in the coming months. The high-rise camera aboard NARSA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter stands ready to deliver additional images and surface area measurements as 3IATL glides by the red planet. Then, next March, as it passes near the giant presence of Jupiter, NASA's Juno spacecraft may secure observations that will shed fresh light on the body's physical properties. Should these flybys yield precise data about 3IATL's dimensions and nature, our knowledge of interstellar wanderers, hard won and always incomplete, will be challenged anew. For as much as we seek a neat explanation for this massive traveler, it is just as likely to remind us, as the cosmos so often does, of how much we still do not understand. Avi Loeb, at the heart of the scientific storm, relishes the prospect. I can't wait for this data, he declared. For him, and for so many others captivated by the unknown, the deluge of new information will be the crucible that sorts scientific dogma from genuine curiosity. It is in the face of such mysteries that science is forced to evolve, its practitioners nudged along by the promise and the challenge of the unexpected. Yet for all its controversy and unanswered questions, 3I ATL stands as a monument to the surprises that the universe still has in store. It breaks our models, stretches our imaginations, and reveals an interstellar landscape more diverse and enigmatic than we had dared to believe. It is a testament to the power of observation and to the necessity of wonder. As we await more answers and watch this anomalous giant make its way past Mars and onward toward Jupiter, let us savor the awe and curiosity it inspires. For in every such encounter, we find not only a new piece of the cosmic puzzle, but also a reminder of how much more there is yet to discover. So keep your sights fixed on the heavens, explore these great mysteries with us, and let stories like that of 3I ATL remind you, the universe is vast, full of the unimaginable, and it is only by reaching out into the unknown that we may one day understand our place within it.